Let it pop out. Four seconds, three seconds. Lillard. Lillard with one. Lillard for three. Yes, sir! Lillard again. Turns the corner and a Good, smart play. Joe Martin in there as well. Batum to the corner. Here's Babbitt. Back to Lillard. Lillard for the win. Yes! <laughs> uh, the following year, Dame. Mid-major point guard. Not really. Dollar. A ton of hype at the beginning. You know, expectations were kind of unknown. When did you realize that, that Dame has some game? Shit, right away. That motherfucker came in and he was him. But I... I did ever, and I, I think he says on an interview, and y'all could check it, fact check, whatever y'all want to do, but he said, he's like, I never try to like stifle him though. You know how you got older vets and a big, like, don't do that, don't, like, nah, like, be you, bro, because uh, we ain't gonna be good until you figure this shit out. So I never told him, like, not to take a, you know, long ass three, like, before he was making them shits like he do now, you know what I'm saying? So I never tried to stifle the process of him, like, finding himself, but he was good right away, man. Like, in that series, like you said, what, when I was killing, I think he had back-to-back -back 30, and then he ended up making that crazy shot to win it. So for me, it was like, I knew right away he was good, and I felt like I just wanted him to try to figure it out as soon as possible so we can start trying to win again. But no, he came in confident, as everybody know. Like, he's never lacked confidence, and he always believed in his ability. So it was like him just figuring it out. And he had a game against Kobe, too, where he played well, too, and I feel like Kobe kind of stamped him a little bit early, too. So. I feel like day one, like he came in like ready to go. How long do you feel like it took you guys to kind of get on the same page or find your chemistry or your, or your rhythm together? I think it took effort on both both sides because I played with Dre and Dre is like the ball gonna be in your hands, like Fast. perfect. Mm -hmm. Like go to the rim, that shit's like above the rim, like you know what I'm saying? Like you just gotta tap that motherfucker in. <laughs> yeah. So I went from that to like Dane was learning how to like play with a dynamic big, a dominant big. It's so like the passes were like more balanced passes and. Dre was more of a chess pass, so he would bounce that motherfucker high or to come, you know, like hard or to come up high to you. Like, that shit matter on your shot if you can just get that shit in rhythm. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, exactly. So, long long story short, I went home that summer and, like, I worked with uh, Coach Caleb, who was with us. And I was like, I want to do bounce passes all summer because that's what they ain't going to throw. So, let me get used to this shit so he can do his normal pass and I can catch that shit and I can, you know, I can cash out. So, I spent the whole summer just working on bounce passes for him. And I feel like he started to try to work on his shit too, you know what I'm saying? Like how to read my, you know, post ups. And so I think both sides just kind of put the effort in. I think that next season after that, we just kind of took off.